Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love and what can you expect for the near future. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. If it doesn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Sagittarius. I'll have it linked in the description box. But if it does resonate, then feel free to let me know down in the comments. All right, Spirit. Messages for Sagittarius. What do they need to know about love? Who or what is coming towards them in love? This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box. Wow. True love victory lap. Beautiful, beautiful energies. So this is what's coming towards you. I mean, I, I wish I could just stop there. <laughs> Some sort of coming together, success. Tell me more for Sagittarius. What's going on here for Sagittarius in love? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Wow, this is all looking really good. I don't want to like jinx it, but it's pretty awesome. What else for Sagittarius? Who or what's coming towards Sagittarius? In love, who or what is coming towards them? Distant horizon. So this is a card about like good things really happening. Let me look at number 36. Um, this card represents yearnings, dreams, hopes, wishes, a new shore, faraway places. I mean, it's almost like a card about, yeah, dreams coming to... to um, reality dreams becoming reality <laughs> being going on a voyage so this is awesome energy basically is what I'm getting at um, this is about some sort of a connection I don't know if this is a past connection or something new because this is who or what is coming towards you in love so let's see what we get with the tarot what deck do I want to use? So oh, I want to use this one. Right away I saw it and I was like, this one. Oh, I don't think I have this one. I've been using mainly uprights, but this one is a mixed deck. So, for Sagittarius Spirit, what do they need to know? about who or what is coming towards them in love. Who or what is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Okay. Page of Swords. Who or what is coming towards them in love? The Magician Reverse. Who or what is coming towards them in love? Knight of Coins Reverse. So this is telling me that this has been a long time coming. Whatever this is with this page of swords, this could be communication, internet dating, texting back and forth. Uh, whatever this is, I feel like this has been a long time coming. Because these two cards, I just, something has not been able to manifest. Actually, let's start there. Why the Magician at reverse with the Knight of Coins reverse? Wow, the Tower. Interesting, because the Tower had to happen for you or for this person. Yeah, to bring back balance, temperance. There you are, by the way, Sagittarius, showing up to your own reading. So that's why something hasn't happened yet. A tower had to happen to bring something back into balance. So what's this page of swords about? What's this page of swords about? Oh, okay. So right away I see the nine of coin and I'm thinking that someone has their eye on you or vice versa. Keeping tabs on you here, has seen you, has observed you and wants to talk to you. This is gonna be, I feel, very clear reading. Yeah, there's the Empress. I'm just gonna drop her there because I feel like someone sees you as a nine of pentacles, Empress energy. 
Can I get one more, please, for this page of swords? What's this page of swords about? Ace of Wands reverse, but nothing has happened. Um, no actual action. So this person could have been watching you and watching you and, um, or maybe talking, talking, but nothing has actually happened. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Two of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like they don't know, should I talk to them or not? And I feel like with the King of Swords reverse, Ace of Wands reverse, I'm almost seeing it's just someone's just like tight-lipped. Hmm. Tell me more about this tower. I'm just curious. What's this tower about? Five of Wands. Well, whatever it was, it cost drama. Very, a lot of drama. Conflict. Arguments. What's this tower about? Could involve multiple people. Yeah, Three of Cups. So I feel like this is a group of people or situation amongst people um, and it had to come down for this to come together, basically. This could be family, friends, multiple partners, past partner, whatever the case may be. I still think that, that this reading could be for those of you who are already kn like know this person and have been with this person and those of you who haven't. I feel like this could be someone from the past or someone comp completely new at this point. Um, so let's see, what else do we need to know or can we find out about this person? All right, start. Tell me more about this person that's coming towards Sagittarius. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about Sagittarius? and the person that's coming towards them. What do you need to know about this person? Leo, ruled by the sun. So they could have Leo in their chart, in what, you know, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, etc. Or they could inhabit um, traits of the sun, like the major, or um, the strength card, sorry, of the major arcana. Because these, um, the ones that are like the astrological signs in this deck, they were, they you know, obviously have some symbolism to do with the sign, but I also interpret them as the major arcana. So for Leo, that would be the strength card. What I'm getting is someone very, the, the phrase is in your face. <laughs> um, why am I getting this? This is not a shy person. Why am I getting this? Tell me more. Okay, we have abundance. I'm gonna put that back. Blessings and prosperity. So with the sun too, I'm getting like, this person could be making you very happy, especially with abundance here. What else? This person could be well off. Fun, outgoing and lively, exactly. This is not a shy person, whoever this is. Um, very bright energy, um, fun, happy energy. So if you're like thinking that, oh, my person's a downer, doesn't have a sense of humor, could never smile, obviously it's not this person. Okay, so let's see. What's next? What's happening next between you and this person? for Sagittarius and this other person. What do we need to know about what's happening next? Where's all of this headed? Where's all of this headed? And once again, I'm getting like this rainbow pot of gold and then distant horizons. It's like someone's gonna be very happy with with the fact that they found this person or that this person's gonna be very happy when they're around you or happy they found you. Tell me more about what's happening next. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Again, very bold. This is someone that's very bold. Um, they're not shy, however, they haven't taken any action yet from what I saw from the previous spread. 
And I feel like that's connected to the tower. The tower needs to fall in order for something to manifest is what I'm seeing. What else? Knight of Cups. Yep. This is someone coming in. And again, this could be someone from the past or someone completely new, Sagittarius. Um, could be a fire sign, water sign, but does not have to be. Can I go one more place? Oh. Ten of coin. Wow, that's that abundance card for sure. Again, stability, success, someone that is um, interested in something long-term or something that leads to a long-term commitment. Tell me about this King of Wands. What is this King of Wands doing here? Temperance. There you are, Sagittarius, once again. Making something work, bringing something into balance. Um, taking their time, being patient with the temperance card and the tower. Yeah, I'm telling you this, this tower keeps coming out with this temperance card and by keep coming out, it only came out once, but it's very important because it's the same energy that we're working with for your reading. You know, I feel like this is someone, yeah. And then at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of coin, this is something that can only take place with a tower. Or a tower is helping this happen. And it might happen very slowly, especially with temperance here, but it's going to happen. You know? Especially with the Knight of Coin. They take their time, but what they have is very, is something you can count on, something you can depend on. Because they want to do things right. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. What's with this Knight of Cups here? Wow, the lovers. Are you kidding me? Gemini energy. This is someone who, you know, they're expressing their emotions. Um, this is someone who is thinking of a partnership here, uh, a union. They're letting their heart guide them here. Once again, this is not a shy person. I feel like they're they're willing to put themselves out there. Yeah, six of coin. They, I, I picture them asking you out on a date or, you know, telling you that they want to give you something. Uh, and by giving you something, it could even be something as simple as, hey, I'm into you. Or an apology that you've been waiting for, or just an expression of love. Like if you've already been seeing this person, you know, I have genuine feelings for you. The Knight of Cups is like the the, the card where they admit they love you for, their, for the first time, or they confess themselves to you. This is very beautiful energy, Sagittarius. From the beginning, the energy has been really good, um, despite the fact that we have this crazy tower. <laughs> Um, but other than that, I do feel this is a very positive, um, energy. Tell me about this 10 of coin. What's this 10 of coin about? Queen of coin. My goodness. Look at all these uprights. This deck is not an upright deck. There is reversals all over in this deck, but for some reason, watch me jinx myself now, but I find it very telling, you know, and people, you know, sometimes they complain about reversals. Oh, there's too many reversals, whatever. Um, it's only when they're meant to come out that they come out, you know, if they help the message or whatnot. Tell me about this 10 of coin, the moon reverse. So in this case, I love that this is coming out <laughs> Pisces energy. I feel like this is something that's being revealed, something that's out in the open. A secret is coming to the surface. There is um, a revelation. Whatever was hidden is now out in the open. And I feel it's to the advantage of this connection because I feel like someone possibly wasn't doing anything about this or they were prevented from doing something, you know, and now the tower is here. Can I get one more, please, for this 10 of coin? 
the star reverse aquarius energy oh P yeah okay so with the star reverse and the moon reverse now i'm getting this distant horizons card this is someone who for lack of better phrasing thinks you're out of their league like you are the pot at the end of the rainbow that's why the empress was there in the first spread that's why this queen of pentacles is here um the star reverse the moon reverse i feel like they've kept this to themselves because they are maybe feeling like this is a long lost dream or or a far-fetched dream or something like that <coughs> excuse me Excuse me. Yeah. This person thinks you're going to be rejected. And that's why nothing has happened. Four of Swords. Very interesting. Tell me about this tower. Now I'm curious. What's this tower about? Now again, I don't know if this tower already happened between you in the past, or if this is a tower that your person is dealing with on their own, or you are dealing with on your own. Regardless of what it is, it's a tower that's necessary for this connection to take place here. Nine of Wands reverse, tell me more about this tower. Five of Wands again. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this is a tower that Again, I feel multiple people are involved. Um, I feel like this is a tower where um, someone has been through the ringer. It's probably taken a long time um, with the Nine of Wands reverse. There's trust issues. Um, it could be also that because there have been multiple people involved here. Yeah, look at this. This is gonna help someone move. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Cups. It's almost like someone's gonna get to go after their wish fulfillment or their happy ending here. You know, they could even be competing against other people or there was just a lot of people involved that, that kind of kept this person stuck or kept you stuck. Um, maybe there was an interference of, you know, in some way here with the five of wands. But I feel like with the hangman reverse, it's like someone's no longer stuck yeah, Page of Wands. This is gonna help someone move or communicate. It's gonna take time, but I feel like this is this is what someone is hoping to do. Page of Wands, Knight of Cups. You know, and it could very well be that this person is rejected. <laughs> I don't know, you know, if, if you would accept this person's proposal, but I can tell you that they, they're genuine about what they're feeling here what they want with you is very genuine this is not a narcissist this is not a player um <coughs> excuse me i have like something in my throat this is someone who feels you're out of their league or they don't deserve you or something like that it's like they, they really feel they don't deserve you sagittarius and perhaps it's because of whatever they're going through, whatever this tower is is about. Um, but because of this tower, I sound like a broken record at this point. I feel like this is a connection that can actually come together. Um, that you know might even surprise you with the moon reverse. This could be some sort of reveal or revelation, uh, a confession. I'll leave it here, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you or that you at least enjoyed the reading. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, leaving me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and yeah, I appreciate all of your support and I will hopefully see you in another video very soon. Take care.